All right, what's going on guys? One of the best movements for me this off season, bringing up this region, front out, <clears throat> chest, triceps, that whole region came about from progressing here. So I started off my off season doing 135 for sets of three and they're grindy at that. Now I'm doing 165 for a five by five today. Usually I vary between the rep ranges, either five, seven or 10. But uh, this is gonna be my last set, but I just wanna tell you guys a few execution cues when it comes to doing these. So when you get under the bar first, you're just gonna wanna make sure that both wrists are equally under the bar. One's not like this and one's not like this. You wanna make sure that they're both firm and sturdy and under the bar like this. As far as the grip, you don't wanna to go too narrow. We're just doing like an overhead tricep press. You don't wanna to go too wide because then you can impinge this, this joint area right here and it just doesn't feel right for me. And I've heard that it's probably not good, but I don't really know that specifically from a scientific background. So when you unload the bar, you drive back here. First make thing- Make sure, before you go, I'd say make sure that your hands are centered on the barbell to point yeah, out the obvious. Yeah, right, right here. Don't have them like one over here and one over there. Exactly, yeah. For noobs. And then um, a big cue is when you come back, just I like to retract and depress my scapula to make sure everything's tight, get a good idea of what's happening. And then to get more strength, a lot of people, obviously it's too heavy if you're doing this, a lot of people do this garbage right here. So that's you get calf raise, sure. overhead that. press. I don't know if you're trying to train calves and front delts at the same time, but that's probably not Jumping, what you do. you're vertical. Anyways, so what you wanna do is you wanna get a firm base here. You wanna drive through the floor, retract and deep press. And a lot of times if you have a stronger front delt, so for me, my left side is stronger. My elbow starts to go in a different position than my right. And I tend to drive harder with my left. So make sure you're driving through the floor. Do you contract your glutes or no? Yeah, I keep my whole lower body tight. Okay, so you contract your glutes when you're pressing? I don't necessarily, I don't know if I contract it, but I just keep my whole lower body tight. Okay. And I drive through the floor. I retract and deep press here, keep everything super tight, drive through the floor, get under the bar. And instead of thinking about driving forward and up, think about driving up and then over your head like that. Make sure you oh. poke your head through as soon as that. It's an overhead press. So I'm gonna hit my fifth set right now. And, uh, if you, could, if you could just start there and then walk around to the back. I'm gonna get an angle to prove a point for bar pass purposes. Yeah, walk around to the back towards the end of the set though. So they can see how tight I am too. I can. But right here, notice how it, the bar path is a little bit more of a crescent. It's kind of curved, it's not straight up. And as soon as the bar gets above his massive melon, it goes behind him. Watch where he pokes his head through. See that head poke through. Head goes back, as soon as it gets felt, head pokes through. And see how the barbell's kind of curved a little bit as it presses up, that's important. Meaty traps, always important. And that's it, overhead press, start growing this region.